I'm meeting my nieces at the zoo today. It's Maya's birthday. First, Crystal needs her ink coffee. Gotta get the ink. <laughs> Chris wasn't there today for some reason, but Connor was there and they made the coffees we love. Crystal's wearing her Funfetti sweater today, which I totally love. If you've ever had that Funfetti cake with the little sprinkles in them. I think Canadians call them sparkles. Dip them in some sparkles. Spark you like? I just want to eat her up. Does this thing record the whole time? <laughs> Coming out into daylight, sunglasses on. Still waiting. It's a big place. How old are you now, actually? Five. That's right, you're five. Maya is five. Where'd you go, Mom? Wait, is that the right amount? One, two, three. <laughs> One, two, three. Five. Oh, five. She's five. Wow. Oh, that'll be so pretty. That's going in your bedroom. What's it like having kids at the zoo? Um, it's fun. It's, it actually having kids adds a whole new dimension to going to places like this. So it's a lot of fun to see it through their eyes, see their excitement and all that stuff. And now for real, what is it like having kids at the Exhausting. zoo? Exhausting. Bye. Bye. We're going down one more, right? Yeah. Tiger three. Tiger three. Crystal has to get to work here in like, like an hour or less. <laughs> Really, really neat assignment today. You can kind of see them, they're right up there. I'll get you a better shot of it. We're preparing for a story. Of the woman who's painting, who paints the portraits of the presidents that hang at the Colorado State Capitol. We're gonna get to meet her tomorrow, from what I understand. Today, though, we're gonna shoot the portraits. restroom break. This place is so beautiful, but it's also so huge. Executive chambers, governor's office of policy and research. Where are you restrooms? Like they're gonna talk back to me. Bathroom break went well, thank you. A little bit of bad news, I didn't get to finish that story. Logistics are at a newsroom such that we have like 18 videographers on staff. I was supposed to continue shooting that story the next day. Unfortunately, I couldn't. Schedules kind of dictated that another videographer had to take over and finish the story. I'm obsessive about Paul. I love the, the soul, the, the human being. No hate in that at all. We don't get, we love to take ownership over stories, but at the same time, we're also team players. And it's important that we all get the story told. For the viewers. But their essence is what makes them them. You know, something in the look in their eye or the way they tilt their head. It's okay from time to time to have to step back and let logistics take over. That said, the videographer who took over, Greg, is a fantastic videographer. I know he's going to do a really great job with this story. Very cool. So talented. Sometimes that's how the cookie crumbles. That's okay. Have a really great night.